Hello, and welcome to Death Metal Bonsai. Today, we will be, I will be working on my one-year-old cutting of um, Ficus Benjamina. It was taken from my fiancé's plant, as I said, about a year ago. So, it's... I, my plan for it has been to keep it as small as possible. First, I was thinking about uh, making this lower branch the new leader, but uh, now I'm more of like, yeah, let's chop it like all the way down and just keep everything as compact as like humanly possible. It has been getting like four five new leaves so I know it's been it has energy to grow and I think it would be safe just to cut it down to a stump so I mean let's I, I don't know let's see what happens so let's just begin with taking it off, off. It has been growing in a in an old Q-tip box. Uh, yeah, I know it's see-through, so it it's not the best for the roots. But it's been interesting. It's been interesting to see them grow. And I'll use this again as. It's pot and okay, let's just start taking off the old soil. It's not too old, like I would say probably like uh, I can't remember when I bought it this like six months ago or something like this. Now here you can start to see the plastic plate I used when I repotted this there I uh, wired down the roots and corrected them in the right direction I just used some wire basic, basic wire here we go the soil is a mixture of uh, cat non-clumping cat litter I got here from from my basic store here it's kind of this weird like really airy rocks like white and they are really like almost look like some kind of moon moon rocks or something it's weird looking uh, i mean it does the job uh, as you can see i'm also using pretty heavy like um, the organic stuff just basic stuff you get from the grocery stores here so yeah i might uh, i did some new soil and i I didn't put as much as organic soil as I did with this one, so uh, it should be better. And I'll be... Uh, oh, there's some heavy roots, heavy big roots here. Yeah, it was super time. You can, you can see here, even without uh, getting the... Where is the light coming from? Yeah, here. You can see a huge root, bigger, even bigger than the trunk. So, like, it was really just the time to repot this. Yeah. So, okay, I got the roots mostly washed out and 
as you can see this or all, all of this is like as I said something like six months growth and yeah like it was super time uh, to report this as you can see the these two roots are just massive like these are the uh, ficus is known for its potato roots so yeah these are those kind of roots and but yeah they have to just have to go and here in the bottom you can see that uh, here you can see the wires i used to secure the view of the roots and oh, there is one even grow growing through so yeah let's just uh, open these uh, I'll probably better to do it from here I, I can I don't seem to see them when you from above be able to at least maybe pull through but yeah let's see if I can yeah nope nope still not getting it I won't be using this again uh, this has not worked as well as I hoped and um, There was one off. Where was okay? Yeah, here. Okay. So this is one of the worst things when you are using wire. This potato root over here. I I, I don't think can you see it over here? It has been biting down on the wire and just deformed the whole thing I can it will probably you will probably see it better when I get this whole thing off oh, okay so one root there yeah it was part of the uh, big root so yeah but here you can you see Focus. Okay, something like you can. I don't know how well you can see that, but like, it's it has a huge mark there. So yeah, let's just. Well, first of all, let's just cut that whole thing off. There goes the first potato root. And just there, the second one, and you know, well, these aren't bad. These smaller roots, I'm just gonna take them back a bit. Now, now this one, uh, it's not too bad. I mean. It's gonna take over when these ones are not. I mean, it has one growing on from like the side of it over here. Yeah, that one. So I should be able to just take this bigger part off and redirect that from there. I'm sorry. I don't know how well you can see that. But okay, so that's the bottom. It's looking really gnarly. I'm not a fan of it. Not at all. So, I'm using these basic nail clippers to do this. So, uh, there is one root growing on the inside that can come right off. Uh, so 
I mean, I can, I could just, I'm gonna do this. Just cut them clean off. Just make it like that, and hope it. They will uh, create more roots around the cut point, cut points, and uh, there will be roots growing in to inside of the plant. But I mean, this just this is not good root base, like not at all for bonsai. So. Mm. Nothing to lose, I guess. Nothing to lose. So, yeah. And, as I said, uh, I want, it, want to keep it as short as possible. So, whoops. And, I, as I said, I have a new cutting. It's basically the same same plant and here here is the bonsai <laughs> I, mean, I, I knew it would be like <laughs> ridiculously small but I didn't like yeah um, let's uh, I don't know if there is enough energy in this to create more like branches or anything. I think I'll take it just a little bit further back. To the, as you can see, it like there is a little bit straight here, so I'll be taking that straightness off and just yeah, like that. Now we just have this, this ridiculously small thing. I mean, there is, as you can see, these small, small roots. These are the feeder roots, and it. Uh, this is so small that I have no idea if, if it can even survive this. So, I mean, let's just put it up and see. See what comes from it. Okay, there, where this, uh, here is the basic window screen I use on the bottom of this. Here. And here is the new soil. This is, again, uh, the organics are just basic stuff you can get from a grocery store, but the gravel is um, it's it's called lekasora here. Uh, it's just um, basic like clay stuff. It's it's sold as um, like you can throw it on the ground when there's ice and uh, or just for the aerate your soil when you are doing your garden or something like that um, but there is also uh, some of uh, bio bio charcoal so yeah i'll be just i'll just pour it like that basic yeah, that's the basic, like, first level. I won't be doing the filling up the whole thing, I mean, it's not gonna need it. And then, <laughs> this is so stupid, I, I have no idea if this will work, I have seriously no idea, it's just so funny. <laughs> so, yeah. Just yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, let let's get the. I mean, then then we are going to do the basic stuff you do with your with your bonsai roots when you are planting up. We will just make they are they are radial, meaning that they are all pointing 
outwards and not mm, yeah this just uh, wait, uh, yeah let's just see how this works I have, I have no idea I put my finger there so I won't lose it <laughs> and just Yeah. So. <laughs> so yeah. I, I mean that's the video. I will just um, I will water water this, put it in a like not in the straight sun but in a sunny sunny place and. If, if you guys want, you can follow me on Instagram death, at Death Metal Bonsai. That will be the, pe the best place to know how my trees and stuff and plants are doing. So yeah, fo go follow me there. I I will be updating this uh, as soon as this video comes uh, goes up, goes up. I will be putting. Uh, pictures and updates on this one in there so yeah this has been death metal bonsai yeah